The gift of bread is a moment of grace. It's an exchange between two people. It's a really great way for families to reconnect. It's a thing that brings people together. We knew of boarding houses, we knew of refuges, we knew of families, we knew of nursing homes, we knew of monasteries, we knew of convents. So there was quite a lot of places that we could deliver bread to. The bread is about taking something very simple and taking it out in the street. We serve about 250 sandwiches per night on the truck and any uh, bread rolls and, and extra bread that we get we also serve with our soup. Really without this bread and the, the lovely generous donations that we get from the bakeries we wouldn't be able to work here in the kitchen. At Chapel School our young people often go without a meal and we provide them with sandwiches and this really allows us to help them through life and we really appreciate all your support. Gift of bread, what would I do without them? Supply us wonderful bread every single day. We work in supported employment here, so we work for the centre care industries. It is lovely to um, have the gift of bread come in because it is actually attaching us to the community. It's a, it really is showing a lot of community support to people with disabilities. Just absolutely fantastic, and these guys need it. So often we can have up to 150 students coming in here from kindy through to year 10. The idea is that you sit with people and you share the bread and community and you eat breakfast together. We are an Aboriginal specific community centre based in Miller. Uh, we offer medical services to the Aboriginal community. The bread that we receive from the gift of bread goes to our less fortunate clients. Thanks to the gift of bread for their kind donations, because without them, a lot of our clients would not be able to, you know, afford to buy bread or other things to support their families. Food brings community together, so that's so that's something that we're grateful about having the bread here. It's really come in handy for a lot of our very very needy families. Um, even the kids will walk in on a Wednesday and say, "Is the bread here?" So they're all happy to actually take it home and, and use it and greatly benefit from it. So we really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you for bringing us the bread. It is very helpful for us. The people also appreciate all this bread. So thank you very much and God bless you. We share our bread with most of the community and many of the, the, the pensioners that live in the area. Although they're not in our church, they come and they're free to have it. Bread is for everyone, all denominations, and they're very happy to have it. I have peace in my heart because I know I've got the bread. I thank you and I thank the Lord for you. What you're doing is very good, especially to us low-income people. The colour of community comes through the door every single day and we'll, we'll give them a meal every single day. And it's an open door policy, so we, we will feed anybody who comes through the door. This gift of bread really helps because without it, we couldn't serve the people out on the streets. Our community comes in a variety of different colours, through their culture, through their beliefs, through their daily living. Yeah, we see a variety of different people and different uh, styles incorporating a variety of different colours. Sharing of the bread in our community is a quiet achievement. Bread is symbolic. It's something that we, we commune with and it's also something that Christ shared with us. It's not necessarily people who are hungry, but it's about making a connection with those people and saying, I'm human just like you.